All right, so now we're going to talk about getting the electrical all wired up for the system. Um, again, these are DC latching valves, and uh, we've got the DC6S Galcon battery powered controller, which we're going to hook uh, some solar up to. Um, so, we're going to talk about wiring. This is the front. There's a, a cover as well that we took off for the interface right here, but just undo these two screws and pop this thing open, and you can see all the innards. So, something different about DC controllers as opposed to AC controllers is um, with AC controllers there's a common wire um, the wires on DC on AC valves are interchangeable you can there's no red there's no black they all go in um, one of the wires from each valve goes to a common and that goes to a common on the bus with DC there's a red and black wire on every single valve um, a positive and a negative and they need to go to the corresponding bus red and black for every single station so, so basically for noobs, where you see an R is where the red goes, and where you see a B is where the black goes, is that correct? That's correct, yep. Right. And we've got, so this is the DC6S, um, the DC12S, which is a 12 station, looks the exact same, but there's a bus right here as well, so you see V7 through V12, um, valve 7 through valve 12. The bus is right here, um, there's also VM right here, this is for the master valve. And then this sensor um, is for the rain sensor we're going to install as well. And then again, we've got just rechargeable 9 volt batteries in here. They're stuck in there kind of good. But, um, so we're going to just, the controller is going to be mounted pretty close to the valve. So normally you would have to have a multi strand cable, um, but we're not going to need that in this case. And because everything's going to be mounted in a latching lid, the lid's not going to fall off, not going to be taken off. We don't need to really worry about a strain relief or anything right here. I'm just going to run all the wires up through here um, and then we'll start with V1. Actually this is technically fifth on our lineup so I'll, I'll put this one at V5. Um, basically you want to strip somewhere close to a half inch off, quarter to a half inch um, and then you'll see there's a little slot right at the bottom. Just plug it in until you kind of feel it stop. And then this tiny little screwdriver. Screw this thing in until you feel it nice and snug. A little bit of resistance on the screwdriver. You don't need to crank it. And you also want to be careful with this bus because these are just mounted to little soldered leads right here, soldered contacts. So, and then for each one, you put the red in. And for the same exact valve, you put the black in. You tighten it just like that and you work your way down the line. Easy. Easy.